So if a patient has really bad teeth, Bleeding gums, bad breath, loose teeth, you cannot save them. It's already been determined, they all have to come out. Okay. What's the process like when it comes to dental implants in your practice for that group? Okay, and it's important that you mention, so there's beyond repair, right? So the teeth gotta go due to infection, cavities, whatever. So they need to go, assuming that. So then we can go with two implants in the front. Okay. That, that would be the initial step if, if they choose to do so. To extract the teeth. Extract the teeth, graft whatever needs to be grafted, and then you place two implants and you have a snap in, snap out teeth, full okay. set of teeth. Right? All right, all right. The next step over will be four, the same process. Take the teeth out, graft wherever you Four implants. Four implants and you snap in and snap out. They're okay. way more stable, but still you have to do the maintenance that uh, requires. Uh, once a year, sometimes twice a year, you have to uh, replace the, the attachments, the snappers if you will. So uh, cash out of pocket, you have to pay it uh, once a year probably to get it maintained. Yeah, once yeah. Okay. Once a year you have to maintain that. So you have to take into consideration plus the hygiene appointments, etc. because you need to clean those implants, right? Okay. Uh, you have to brush them. So you, it's not like you have implants and you forget about them. So you got to maintain them. Now, the next step over which most of people like it is the fixed restoration. So they do not come out. So it's anywhere from four to eight implants depending on the case and they I do with porcelain teeth I do not do with plastic anymore like we do with the snap on and snap in and most of the people to be honest they do they still do with uh, plastic teeth so okay. I don't do it I used to do it there's way better technology so like porcelain or zirconia yeah, or correct. whatever yeah so that and there's new materials uh, always so but and the maintenance there is virtually zero Okay, so, so you get your teeth back. Basically, yes. You have to do the, the hygiene appointments. You have to brush them. You have to floss them, etc. It's the same care. Yeah. What about the upper? Because the upper is pretty good because there's suction with the denture. Correct. That's a great point because when you have the fixed restoration, you don't have anything covering the roof of your mouth. You don't have anything uh, between your lips and your gums. So it's just basically coming straight from your implants. So it's a lot more. Um, it do, you don't feel like you have a, a mouth full anymore. You can taste food. You can taste your, your, your okay. I don't know if you're a drink whiner or whatever, but you can f f taste it. The spices that is in okay. the food. The roof else. of the mouth isn't covered. No. Let me ask you this though. If you have bad gums, like gum disease, mm -hmm. you can still get a dental implant? Aren't the gums too bad to get this done? No, once you take the tooth out or the teeth out, the gums becomes healthy. If you do it properly, the gums, the gums becomes uh, healthy again, and then you're able to place. Because what? The bacterial infection has nothing to live on, or right? Because the source of that infection, in in that case, was a bad tooth. So the tooth was infecting the gum and the bone. Okay. So once you take that source out, then the gum heals itself, and then you can place the implant. And then the maintenance on this kind of a thing, is just like. Every six months, just like a regular person. You do, yes, you do every six months the hygiene appointments. Sometimes, depending on your history, and it's case by case, we, we recommend every four months just to make sure you're maintaining it right, right? We want to make sure that uh, treatment will last you possibly a lifetime. So, we need to be careful with the hygiene appointments and your, okay. your home care, yes. And you said you could be like in your 90s and get this done. So, oh, it doesn't I, matter how old you are, the no. implants aren't more likely to fall out if you're 90? No. No, there's no relationship. Bone is very, in a way, uh, they don't care about age unless you have a severe osteoporosis, which is rare, by the way. Uh, and osteoporosis in the mouth is the last to be uh, okay. in, uh, affected. So it's it's we're fortunate enough that we can we can yeah. Age is not an it's not a. An so issue. no more dentures. Please, no more dentures. My original dentist indicated that my teeth were deteriorating, just. Uh, so rapidly he didn't really know what to do or where to go or anything like that and he pretty much thought I was on maybe some type of drugs some I think he said methadone I mean I can't even think of the name of it now a drug there that would cause your teeth you know to decay rapidly Dr. Seda took a really really bad situation with my mouth and it was really bad I knew it after speaking with Dr. Ford and just really brought back a smile that was just incredible. I mean, from, you know, the start, uh, from the start of the process, he explained the process to me. He explained what was gonna take place, the cost that involved, 
And through all that process, he has brought back this wonderful smile that I have. Really changed my life because I love the smile. I love to talk to people. Now I don't have to like, you know, do a half smile or anything like that to cover up my teeth. So I certainly would recommend Dr. Macedo to anyone that really want to make a difference in, in their smile as well as in their life and just really be happy about the work that he's done.